Hello, this is Dr. Gary Wallach discussing with you ingrown toenails, which is probably one of the most common problems seen in the practice on a daily basis. The arrow is pointing to the portion of the toe that's ingrown. If you look to the opposite side of the same toe, you'll see how the skin is smooth, not particularly red. If you come back to where the arrow is, you'll see it's red, it's a little bit puffy and swollen, and that's about the only change you could see, but it feels a lot worse than that. Pain is present in closed shoes. It hurts with pressure. Bed sheets will cause pain. Even after the nail is clipped, it may feel better for a short time, only for the pain to return shortly thereafter. Now here's the same toe a short time later. You notice the arrow is pointing to the area that's been taken care of. Compare it to the opposite side of the toe, and you'll notice this time there's almost no difference. The redness is gone, the swelling is gone, puffiness is gone. This is accomplished with a little Novocaine, so there's no pain while it's being taken care of or afterward. It's an immediate relief to the problem, and the problem is corrected permanently. The ingrown toenail is removed. The consequences of not taking care of an ingrown toenail are quite significant. That's because the bone structure is, are just fractions of an inch below the surface of the ingrown nail. This picture here depicts an ingrown toenail that's been present for a long time. You can see it's puffy and it's red. And if you look again at this picture, the arrow to the right is showing where the skin is and where the ingrown nail is, but the arrow at the tip is pointing to the bone structure, just fractions of an inch below the surface. The problem here is the bone has become infected from the skin infection from the ingrown nail. At minimum, at minimum, this requires six weeks of antibiotic therapy. That's quite uh, a long time to be taking antibiotic pills or even more significantly, it can lead, require IV antibiotics. Now, if a person is diabetic or has serious circulation problems, even more severe problems can occur, and that would be an amputation of the tip of the toe to remove the infection, or even worse, amputation of the toe, and in some cases, people can lose their legs from an ingrown toenail problem. So the lesson to learn from this is that if you do have an ingrown toenail, get it taken care of quickly. Don't let it linger because you're afraid the treatment will be painful because the problem is so painful. The treatment is simple. It's easy. It's painless. And the problem is resolved permanently. We do this in the office on a daily basis. This is Dr. Gary Wallach. Thank you for listening. This has been a discussion about ingrown toenails.